So I need this tool to make minced meat. The price for this is approximately 12 USD. I just want to make one myself. I'm going to print it in nylon. I'm going to show you how I will design this piece and how to print it. I found this image, which is approximately straightforward. So I'm going to use this as a background in Fusion. You can also see this one just to see how the design is. I'm just going to start a new sketch first because I know the height of this piece. I'm going to use a center line. So L for line and then use center line to 20 high. It came out not straight so I'm going to straighten it up like this. Then we can place our image. So go to insert and canvas. I'm going to get this from my computer and selecting the front plane. I'm going to scale it to size. What we can do, we can also calibrate. So let's do that. Let's go to canvas. Right click, calibrate, choose the bottom of the part and the top of the part. Approximately like this. It's going to be 220. And let's right click again, edit, move it up. Ah, this is okay. Doesn't have to be perfect. Let's move our canvas so it comes before the sketch in the timeline. Let's open our sketch. Elf line, just normal line. I'm gonna go out here, new line on the top. Out here. Let's put some dimensions on that, this. So center line and outer. So let's just make this 50. Center line and uh, outer point. So let's make this 80. It can be bigger if you want. And let's make an arc just to get a shape here going. Something like that. Put some dimensions on that. 22 seems like a good option. Um, I'm gonna need a new arc. Just put it like this. Uh, we want this to be tangent, tangent. So between these two guys, put a new dimension on this guy. Let's go with 35 for now. I'm probably gonna make this a little bit smaller. Maybe 20 is nice. Yeah, let's go with 20. So let's go with another arc up here. Let's do a construction line from this point and straight up. Then do tangent between this arc and this line. And put some dimensions on, th on this arc. Let's go with 10 to see how that looks. It looks okay. Uh, we can change those, of course. Uh, another arc here. Something like this. We need to turn off construction. And we're gonna go tangent again between this guy and that guy. Let's just drag this around a little bit to see. Um, yeah, let's make this 20. This looks okay. Could go a little bit bigger on this maybe. 22-ish. Maybe a little bit bigger on that as well. 11. Yeah, that looks good. We can try using a spline, closing up this profile. I uh, want to use control point spline for this. 
Um, I don't know how many points we need. So we can add and subtract points, of course. So just add some uh, points and then let's see. I can drag this guy out a little bit. And I'm going to go tangent between this guy and that guy. So you can take this in a little bit. Take this out a little bit. That looks good. We can um, constrain this guy so it doesn't move around. So let's make a construction line. L and X. And we want to make it tangent like this. I'm going to add an angle here. So let's go with uh, 67. Some dimensions from this guy to that guy. Let's go with 80, 18. And we can also go from this point to that point. Let's go with 58. So we can do the same up here. From uh, this guy to that guy. Let's go five. Same here. 22. Yeah, then we need to lock these guys in. You can do that if you want. You can add dimensions to the control points, of course. Like uh, 51.5 here in this direction. You can do 110. Same over here. 155. So now everything is white, uh, which means it's all constrained. Let's finish this sketch. Revolve the whole thing. Um, let's make it black. So A for appearance. Just gonna find some plastic here. Something. The shape looks good. What we can do, of course, is to add a fillet up here. So about two maybe. Yeah. That looks good. That looks good. So now we, of course, we need to make the knives. So I'm not sure how that's gonna work out, but let's just uh, try something and see where it goes. You can also take a look at the images. So it looks something like this. Those are gonna be quite sharp, those knives. And it's gonna be six of them. So let's go on the bottom plane. Great sketch. And um, let's just project the whole body. So we have the outer edge of the whole thing. And we need a circle in the center. Let's go with a small circle. Let's go with some construction li lines, horizontal one. So let's go with a normal line from the sky and just straight up. Um, uh, constrain it to the outer perimeter. Actually, let's make this uh, center line and do some dimensions. So I really don't know the thickness of these knives, but I would guess they are about two, one or two millimeter. So let's mirror this guy. over there and let's create a circular pattern with these two lines center point over here and we are gonna increase our count to six like this so I see a problem now if we cut now, we will cut too much of the whole thing. So that's not what we want. I think we need to do a sweep. Let's open up our sketch again. I think I want to constrain it to the crossing line here or the crossing point. So let's make a point. Let's 
just put it there and constrain it to the other guy as well <laughs> then we can constrain this point to our circle like that finish the sketch I'm gonna make another sketch on the front plane um, let's intersect this guy so I'll project include intersect and uh, let's do the body and let's also project our point so selection filter entities point okay and we can make an arc or a spline let's try an arc first let's just do something like this maybe we want this to go straight down so a construction line from the point and straight down go with tangent between the arc and the line let's make a dimension on this arc let's go with 100 see how that turns out let's go with uh, create and sweep we want this profile and path to be our arc and we want of course this to cut uh, so it didn't take everything we didn't get our outer profile so let's just add this there you go and now if we circle this pattern and we go with feature and the sweep axis we're gonna go with our z axis make six of these guys that doesn't look too bad uh, maybe it should be slightly sharper i don't think two millimeter is um, sharp enough let's just try and see what happens if we go smaller down to one looks much better this guy looks pretty pretty similar to this guy now of course uh, this one is a little bit different when it comes to the handle but i'm not sure if we're gonna care about that really we don't need this opening and with it would be hard to print like this so just gonna leave it solid and what's next is to slice it and uh, print it so let's just see how that turns out open this in prusa slicer it's going to change my filament we're going to go with nylon it's nylon profile so i have a 0.4 nozzle on at this point i guess we could print this with 0.6 as well so let's up our layers to seven so we get about two millimeter about two millimeter wall as well infill doesn't need much infill on this guy maybe go down to five i'll just leave it at 10 minutes. let's see how long it, long it would take so we need a really big brim on this maybe we're gonna go with uh, let's go with 15 and for speed first layer we're gonna go slow let's go down to 30 even and 10 cubic millimeters a second is okay this is now on auto speed i will make another video how you will be able to utilize volumetric speed rather than just speed because it just makes more sense and you have a constant nozzle pressure okay let's slice it and see it's going to take about uh, three hours okay so we have some stability issues here we have an overhang here so let's actually change the design a little bit go back to our sketch yeah that would help of course but that's not optimal um we also need to do something here we need to actually constrain the tangent from this to that so do tangent and these two lines this is not what we want so we need to do some changes we need to, need to increase this guy i think Yeah, that looks much better. Constrain this one, like 26. So I think that's 
Okay, go with 45 over here. I think that's okay. It doesn't have to be perfect. Let's send this to our computer again. Just gonna replace what we have here. And what we do when we go to the slicer now, we go to edit the view. Then we can just push F5 and it will update. Not sure if you're gonna see it. Yeah, there you go. Are good now. Let's see if there's any overhangs. No. No overhangs, that's perfect. Also, as you can see over here, no overhangs. This is what we want, so two hours, 49 minutes. Let's send it to the printer and see how it goes.